Hi everybody, uh, welcome to a new video. Actually this one is long overdue because I've had this camera for quite a while and um, I like it a lot. It's uh, my Leica M Monochrome. To some maybe a bizarre camera because, uh, well, let me get this one off right away. Uh, it only shoots in black and white. Uh, to others, a bizarre camera because of the price tag to others a bizarre camera because it's extremely simple um, in terms of technology um, it does not offer a lot of features let me just give you a few details it's um, a full frame sensor 18 megapixels CCD uh, I will just say something about the sensor type because most camera or mo uh, camera manufacturers are moving to CMOS sensors or actually have moved to CMOS sensors even Leica did with the M and the following models they all moved over to um, CMOS sensors uh, the camera is manual focus the camera has uh, aperture priority and nothing else uh, you don't have any specific functions like uh, focus peaking, live view, video, or whatever. It has a terrible uh, 230,000 pixel 2.5 inch rear screen. Uh, it goes from uh, 320 ISO to 10,000 ISO. And the problem is not so much the 10,000, which are more or less usable in black and white but more the 320 if you have a, a, a lens that you want to keep wide open in daylight you may have to use an ND filter uh, the speeds go up to one four thousandth of a second which is not extremely fast nowadays it has only one metering mode center weighted metering um, or average metering uh, as I said aperture priority uh, you can set uh, exposure compensation quite easily and it has no flash it has a sync speed of 100 uh, 180th of a second uh, what else it has a self timer and uh, it's extremely expensive it's not weather sealed or anything it's it is a brick of a camera but i wouldn't expose it to some extreme conditions okay now let me get into this camera a little bit it's a it's an interchangeable lens camera you can take the lens off you have the shutter curtain in there it's a mechanical shutter on the front you have the viewfinder you have the rangefinder window and you have this one that's uh, the illumination window for the frame lines this is the frame line selector because you the, the viewfinder doesn't change dependingly uh, according to the lens you put on it um, the viewfinder perspective remains the same you can switch this and you get frame lines inside let me try if i can show you this but i doubt it uh, no, probably not. No. Uh, no, you don't see. Well, maybe you see something. Yeah, you see it. You see there. The frame lines change. And um, while we're here, let's go to the top of the camera. You have the speed dial here that you can set to aperture priority A. And you can go all the way down to 8 seconds. The camera itself goes to 32 seconds or 36 seconds, I'm not sure. And bulb mode. The shutter release button, the uh, on-off switch can go to single, continuous, which does an, an incredible speed of, I think, 2 frames a second, something like that. And the... Um, um, uh, the self timer sorry so this is the top of the camera the bottom uh, the back of the camera has a few buttons 
the play button, delete button, the direct access to the ISO that you can keep pressed and then you can go through the ISO settings and then you have the info button the info button will give you an overview of the state of the camera the battery uh, the SD card the remaining pictures more or less the shutter speed uh, if it's set manually uh, or if you take off the lens cap and let it meter it will actually show you the shutter speed and in this case the lens you have on because there's no electronics in the lens but there are these markings here these white and black markings you may only see no you can see them um, and they are read through this device here so EXIF data is saved uh, on, on in the image file and, uh, and the camera recognizes the lenses assuming they have that coding then you have the menu button the menu is quite standard I'm not going to go through it you can set certain things but not many and then in the set if you press the set button you can set uh, the compression or the or the image type uh, the resolution in this case not because it's uh, digital negative raw files the exposure compensation you can set but that you can also access directly through this wheel and then you can uh, set exposure bracketing and you can define user profiles what else is there to say well not much actually let me just go quickly to the bottom of the camera the bottom is recreates basically uh, the old Leica film camera so you have this bottom plate that comes off but instead of having a film that you put in here uh, you have the battery compartment and the SD card and this one is to give, give space for the uh, for the tripod mount so this is the bottom plate okay now let me tell you what I think of this camera uh, to some people or to many people probably it's a totally absurd thing uh, it's a very expensive camera it can do far less than most cameras that you buy now uh, if you look at it from a neutral standpoint it can do far less than than your than your average iPhone or smartphone however and this is maybe just uh, my perspective but I hear that from many people and maybe it's, it's some kind of self-fulfilling prophecy uh, this camera delivers something special in regards to image quality in my view but mostly in your approach to photography because since the camera can do far less and you cannot rely on the camera to support you in your photography you will focus on on what you do more intensively so with this camera you go out and you don't take hundreds of pictures a day you will go out and take 50 maybe 60 70 pictures in one day uh, but definitely more keepers than with any other camera I use and since it's always me doing it it can't be you know the fact that um, the, the person using this camera will be a better photographer so in the end with this camera you focus on the essentials and that's actually the claim that Leica is now trying to push through for their whole uh, philosophy it's the essentials it's getting down to real photography and not so much um, letting the camera make decisions for you this camera doesn't make any decisions this camera is set in a very basic way and that way is the way it's gonna work so um, I will show you some samples at the end of the video 
uh, and it's impressive. I mean, not so much the, the, the photos them by themselves, but it's definitely different from others. One more little thing, that thing about the sensor type, the CCD versus the CMOS sensor. I'm not an engineer, so I cannot tell you if, if there's a reasoning, specific reasoning behind it. But many people, when Leica switched to CMOS sensors, were kind of upset because they claim that part of this special character uh, is due to the type of sensor. I cannot say that. Uh, it may be, it may not be. But definitely what this camera does is it allows you or it forces you to focus on on your photography, on your framing, on the pictures you take, on focusing. Uh, for example, the manual focus issues. To some it may be, seem like stupid if you have the possibility of, of, of doing uh, autofocus. In my experience, it happens more often that the autofocus misses the point, not because it doesn't work, but because it's focusing on, on the wrong eye or on the wrong person in a group rather than me misfocusing with this one. May take a second longer, but when it does, it works. And one other thing that I want to say is, I complained, for example, for my Sony A7R, that the battery life is a disaster. With this camera, even though the CCD sensor is supposed to use a lot more energy, up to 100 times more energy than a CMOS sensor, Due to the fact that the use of, of energy during taking the picture is only a, a, a very small amount of time. Uh, in everyday use, I put a battery into this camera, I switch the camera on, I leave the house, I stay out one day or half a day. If I stay out half a day with the camera on around my neck, take a few pictures every now and then, I come back home and the battery life is at about 70%. If I take my A7R with me, I turn it on and walk around half a day, I will have to switch batteries. That's my personal view of this. Um, stay tuned, have a look at the pictures, uh, comment or ask questions if you like, and uh, more of this coming soon. Thank you very much and have a great day.